Hi, I'm Sam. I'm the Beauty Director of Bellavox. Today we're here to talk to you about toners. Toners are one of those products that you know you should use it, but do you really know what it does when you use it on your skin? So I thought, let's get to the bottom of this and I'll ask our Bellavox staff members how they use their toner to tone or not to tone. Let's get started. So hi ladies. So we have Mariah and Elaine here and I'm going to ask them a little bit about toners and how do they use it. So Mariah, tell me how you use your toner. I use my toner quite regularly. I feel like depending on what your skincare concerns are, toner can really be a crucial step in your skincare regime. It can really work to refine the texture of the skin and work on any fine lines, wrinkles or any enlarged pores. I don't know much about toner so I don't use it but it's really good to know that. So Mariah's answer was actually pretty spot on. You can use toners to address specific skin concerns. The reason we started using toner in the first place was it was designed to remove any build up of the cleanser on the skin. Cleansers in the old days used to be quite rich and heavy and they'd leave a residue. So using a toner would clear that residue off and it would also restore the pH balance to the skin as well because soaps and cleansers can be quite alkaline. So let's go and ask Rosie what she knows about toners. Hi Rosie. So do you use a toner? I don't use a toner and I don't know much about a toner either. Um, there's like hydration water, toner, beauty water, really what's the difference? Very good question. There is actually a really big difference. So you have a cleansing water. We've seen lots of micellar waters out lately. What they do is that actually cleanses the skin and it's a really light and gentle, easy way to cleanse the skin. Then you've got hydration waters or beauty waters and what they do is they, you can use them to address specific skincare concerns like if you've got dry skin or you want a light exfoliation, they're perfect for that. And then you have toners and what toners do is they prepare the skin for the moisturiser. Toners have kind of gone out of fashion for a little while but they're starting to come back in and there's lots of new great ingredients in toners which will address specific skin concerns. So now we're going to ask Shaz what she thinks about toners. Let's go. Hi Shaz. Oh, hello Sam. How are you? <laughs> I'm good, how are you? Yeah, good. Today we're asking questions about toners. Do you use a toner? Do you know what it does? Uh, don't use it at all. Well, sometimes. As a busy mum like me is that I generally will cleanse and then moisturise. I think that toner is just a luxury for me to just do spray once or twice, maybe if I've got time. So Shaz raises a very important point there. It is definitely a step that a lot of people will skip due to time. But if you can find a way to fit your toner into your skincare routine, it's a great way to address certain skincare concerns. We're actually sampling a toner in our December box, so let's go and check out what it is. So some of you will be receiving Clearasil Super Fruits Refreshing Toner in your December box. I really like this product. It is a product that's suitable for most people. A lot of people think Clearasil is only suitable if you have problematic or oily skin. This is particularly good in the summer. Uh, think about sunscreen, more pimples, you get a lot of bacteria on your skin. This is a really effective way to cleanse the skin and prep for your moisturiser. So we asked the question, to tone or not to tone? My verdict is definitely tone. We hope you've learned something from our little expose of toners here and we'll see you next month.